Mr. Speaker, I beg to present for second reading a bill shortly entitled Invest and Lucia Amendment. Mr. Speaker, this is a very simple amendment which we are requesting the Honorable House to approve. Previously, the corporate the agencies Invest and Lucia was located within the Ministry of Commerce, Industry, etc. With the new configuration which took place after July 2021, investment was placed with tourism as well as culture, creative industries and information. And you'll find in the realignment they created some dislocation. And what has resulted is that if a ministry responsible for business development, which focuses on a lot on the maturing and the evolution and the support needed for local businesses, you find you have an agency which is promoting investment, both local and foreign, but that linkage with the development of our local business sector um, sometimes is disjointed. Of course, previously, if it had been in the same ministry, there would have been a common permanent secretary who can provide oversight for both functions. Um, and we're now asking for us to ensure that the investment climate, to ensure that the facilitating um, structures, the conducive environment is created where you have the linkage between the two. The business development that takes place within the Ministry of Commerce, Business Development, Cooperatives, etc., and the investment, you know, ministry. So, therefore, we request that we amend the, the legislation to allow, not for the Ministry of Commerce, as is stated here, we would be seeking an amendment during the committee stage to allow for the ministry with responsibility for business development. So the permanent secretary of the ministry for business development would be a member of the board of investment Lucia and therefore provide that um, cooperation, collaboration, coordination between the local business environment, the local business development and of course um, we promoting and seeking both foreign and local investors in the country. And I believe if we do so, it would really create that seamless uh, relationship that we, that we seek and that we want to promote. So as it is now, you'll find that we have to be reaching out to the Ministry of Commerce and the Ministry of for Business Development. Uh, and to relate to them and get information from them and then business, local businesses reach out to them and then have to reach out to invest in Lucia separately. And we felt that there, there, there ought to be a slight adjustment and this amendment reflects that slight um, adjustment that we're asking for. But the primary reason why we're doing it, Mr. Speaker, is because we want to create that investment climate in the country. We want businesses to feel that when they do come to the country to invest, that there is a one-stop shop, Mr. Speaker, and it would allow us to provide the kind of support that we think is necessary, Mr. Speaker. So, Mr. Speaker, I, I wish to propose to honorable members that they support the proposed amendment. Um, Mr. Speaker, so I recommend to my colleagues, I'm sure the member for Soufre, um, for Sejac, will speak about it since it would be her ministry that I was referring to to ensure that we strengthen the relationship between the two and any other member, of course, that wishes to speak on the amendment.